Hello everybody, it's Lazel again with another video and today I want to um, answer a question that a friend of mine has asked me. Um, he came up to me and um, told me that he saw a few of my videos and uh, that he has a question um, that I, that yeah, he wanted my opinion on and so I will, yeah, I will just bring my opinion to it because I think it's a very interest, uh, interesting question. Probably a lot of high level castles are currently asking themselves uh, this question and I want to give my opinion to it. Uh, because what I want to talk about is um, your Azeroth investment from now on. Uh, due to the fact that uh, with the with the later with uh, the C40 update, uh, a lot of people are currently in the situation that they are thinking about. Yeah, it's so much Azeroth. Should I just um, invest it into technology now, or should I just uh, save all this Azeroth to do this castle upgrade? And stuff and stuff to one day uh, unlock those units um, and yeah I've now gathered a bit or yeah a bit of experience with players that have tier 12 units uh, we luckily have a few castles in our kingdom that have tier 12 units I've seen reports on them and um, I've now also made my decision how I stand to the high technology and uh, what my uh, investment plan will be for the next few months, probably. Um, so for those of you that don't know, you can invest your Azeroth also into your technology by doing some Mystic College researches. Or you can now, since or it came with the update of the C30, you can invest your Azeroth into high technology. And there's yeah pretty fancy stuff in it that uh, is very nice. For example, if we look at the first military skill, the superior leadership increases your marching army by 1,600 units. And that's actually a lot. And let's look there, it only costs 680 Azeroth. But... Um, now I'm coming to uh, yeah to to the point um, what yeah I kind of, I just want to give my opinion about it because um, a lot of people are currently already C thirty six and stuff I'm sadly not at that point uh, your castle upgrades cost a lot of Azeroth and yeah you need to be patient you need to wait to gather all of this Azeroth it's yeah, we all know how annoying it can be from time to time, but in my opinion, this is the way to go. I personally would recommend everybody to um, to go for C37 or C38 to also get those tier 12 angels, um, which are also extremely powerful, and um, or those tier 12 units by unlocking them you can not, you can then start recruiting them. And what many people might not have thought about is, uh, imagine how long it takes for you to recruit some tier 11 soldiers. Um, and the time for tier 12 un units will be even longer. So in my opinion, it would be good to get these troops as soon as possible to also be able to start recruiting and promoting them and stuff. So you might get a um, full march of them pretty early. You can also do that by saving up speeds from now on. Um, might also be very interesting due to the, when the first strong slot event comes up when you can do your tier 12 units. Um, but yeah, I personally think that tier 12 is currently the way to go. I've seen reports um, of team attacks where tier 12 were extremely powerful. They've killed a ton of troops and it would be definitely the way to go. Um, for me right now. Go until C37 or C38 if you also want those angels. Because from then on you will have to upgrade your college anyways because your college is a requirement for your C39. Yeah right. And you will have to upgrade this the college anyways. And by doing that you will unlock even further skills for your high technology. And of course, a few people would say, yeah, the superior leadership is so good. I definitely need it right now. Um, let's let's do a bit of math here. Because you need for the high technology unit managed stone, managed iron on level one, 
and you needed a college on level 32. Mm, the upgrade for the college to 31 costs like uh, 1,090 Azeroth, and the second upgrade I cannot tell right now, but yeah, a bit more. I can't, I don't know right now. Um, so let's say overall um, it costs like 2,500 Azeroth to get the college to uh, level 32. And then you would have to research your managed food once for 1,170 Azeroth, you manage wood for 1,170, uh, then the managed stone for 1,340, and the same for your managed iron. And by that, you've already paid like round about, uh, yeah, I would say round about 7,500 Azeroth just to be able to research the superior leadership skill. And if you research this, then you're like, Round about 8,000 Azeroth already. 8,000 Azeroth to increase, increase your army size by 1,600 troops. I mean, you know that I'm always for the long-term goal and you will do this research anyway sometime soon uh, or at some point. But, uh, and it's very good. I mean, you're increasing your march size by 1,600. But um, the thing is, you invest over 8,000 Azeroth for it, roundabout in my opinion, uh, and if I did the math right. And from then on, you can, of course, do other stuff here for increase the attack of archers and mages by 1%. Um, it's actually nice because we are talking about archers and mages, but we are talking about 1% here. Um, I mean, in the long term, it will definitely pay off. That's not the thing. What I want to say is that um, you, as a C35 that is now thinking about what should I do next, um, if you've watched my videos and how important it is for me to kill monsters and stuff, you're giving a lot of materials, uh, Ezra chests and stuff and stuff like that. And you can, there for a C35, you can still get a pretty good technology. And in my opinion, you currently don't need the high technology um, to um, to perform even better because if you have tier 12 soldiers you will outperform tier 11 in my opinion very hard if you don't have that very bad technology because tier, uh, tier 12 is currently just so strong and so powerful um, everybody's heading for it and I can personally recommend to save your Azeroth uh, invested into your castle level to unlock those troops as early as possible because it will also take a lot of time to get a full march from them you should now also speed uh, save up speeds for it and um, if you then work on your castle level for example c39 or c40 where you will head to the um, t13 uh, so, uh, units and stuff like that um, then the college will be a requirement too and then it will be also a bit nicer because then you can you will do the upgrades anyways and then at one point you can say okay um, it's not like i'm only doing just one upgrade of the superior leadership uh, i can also do a few more because i can do the requirements for it uh, because what you also shouldn't forget is that we are talking about the first stage here and maybe you will be blocked out due to your requirements to manage food, manage stone and stuff because they might need a higher co uh, college requirement. And if you focus now on the on the college, you might get a bit distracted by the fact uh, how much um, Azeroth you are actually investing because you're always thinking like, yeah, it's just 680 Azeroth, it's just 270 here and there. Um, or the, the college upgrade itself. Yeah, it's actually not that expensive. I can do it now and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um, it might sound nice, but you, should, you shouldn't forget how much Azeroth you stack up in this building. And I personally, as I said, it's, it's just my personal opinion. I'm not going for it. Um, of course, people will come up and say, hey, listen, this is percentage, uh, the costs. And yeah, that's true. The percentage is very nice because there are artifacts like, I think the the Draupnir was it? Yeah, the Draupnir. It only reduces wood costs uh, for a building by 30k. That's not a percentage, that's a fixed amount. 
And if you now go by percentages, that would be awesome, honestly. Um, if we're talking about 2% stone cost, um, and if I look at my castle upgrade, we are talking about a bit more than 2 million stone. And yeah, of course, it takes a bit of time to gather all of this these resources. But resources are or have never been an argument for me um, when it comes to my castle development. Because you need to wait for Azeroth anyways. You will end up waiting for Azeroth. That's, that's a fact in my opinion. And uh, so resources have never been a point for me uh, to, make, to make a decision. So I wouldn't have anything by these managed stone and stuff. I want to get to castle level C37, C38 and stuff as soon as possible. So I invest all of my Azeroth into it and save it. And I'm patient about it. And um, yeah, I personally, I can just say I take a big step back from the high technology and from the college upgrade. Sooner or later, you will have to do it anyways for the C39, but that's then. And when you're doing the upgrades, then you're already promoting and recruiting those tier 12 uh, infantry, mages, archers, cavalry, angels and stuff. And then you can work on it. Um, as I said, it's just my opinion. My opinion was a bit different when, when the update came out about the C30 because I was super hyped about the toughness skill. I still researched it and invested a lot of Azeroth into it. And honestly, now I'm kind of regretting it a bit because um, I know it's a permanent improvement for me, but it also would have been nice to have this amount of Azeroth. I don't know how much Azeroth is it actually. Oh uh, yeah, 6,600. Okay, of course, it would have been nice to have this amount of Ezra right now. Uh, for my castle improvement, I would have been a bit closer to C46. But still, yeah, as I said, I think that waiting with the high technology and the Mystic College now is the way to go. I personally don't invest anything into it in anymore. Um, I just, I'm super patient about it. I save all of my Ezra and just invest it into my castle level. That is my opinion, and um, if you see it different, we can have a chat about it. Let me know down in the comments below. But for now, I would say, yeah, I hoped I answered the question good. And if you see things different, for sure, let's have a talk about it. But I would say, yeah, uh, this is my point of view, and this is my fu uh, future investment plan. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, let me know down below. And I would say, see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.